This month's lesson goes out to all the mathletes in our nation's capital. Now we have geometry problems, so you know my man Harv insisted on being here. Now Harvey, I gotta tell you the most important thing I've learned in all those years of watching you tackle these geometry problems is that these problems are never as hard as they look. What's that? Oh, oh, you say they are as hard as they look and you just make them look easy. Ah, this guy. All right, Harvey, Harvey, I got this. You just watch, you just watch. I'll be able to handle this. You just stand over there and look pretty. Here we go. We have a rectangle, A, B, C, D. We're told that A, B is 10. Now, one thing Harv has taught me is you gotta label your diagram so you can see things. This is 10 up here, and the opposite side, it's a rectangle. This is 10 down here. And then side B, C is six. It's kind of split up over there. That tells me this side over here is also six. And then point Y over here is on B, C such that C, Y is two. So we can drop a two in there. I mean, this whole thing is six, so that other piece has gotta be four. Label the diagram just like that. All right, here we go. We need to figure out what AE is. This point E is where this diagonal intersects AY. So we're looking for this length right here. I'm not sure how to find that. But another thing Harv has taught me is if you can't figure out exactly what you're looking for, go find some other stuff. So I'm going to aim at this whole length AY. I can go after that because it's the hypotenuse of this right triangle, we can use the Pythagorean theorem. AY is the hypotenuse, so we have AY squared equals AB squared plus BY squared. So AY squared is 10 squared plus 4 squared. 10 squared is 100, 4 squared is 16, so AY squared equals 116. So we find AY by just taking that square root. Now, 116, that's 4 less than 120. 120 is 4 times 30. So this 116 has got to be 4 times 29. We're going to take the square root of that. Square root of that 4 is going to give us a 2. So AY is 2 times the square root of 29. And we've taken care of this. But we only need this. Huh. No, 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 no help yet. No, I got this. I got this because another thing you taught me, Harvey, check this out. Parallel lines. Parallel lines, similar triangles. We have similar triangles right here. A, D, E. It's similar to the triangle that's over there. It is Y, B, E. They are similar. This is parallel to this. So this angle right here equals this angle right here. Of course, these two angles at E are equal. These triangles are similar. And this A, E and E, Y, they are corresponding sides of these similar triangles but they're opposite these equal angles right there. So the ratio of A, E to E, Y is the same as the ratio of A, D to B, Y. So the ratio of A, E to E, Y equals 6 to 4. And 6 to 4, of course, that's 3 to 2. So the ratio of A, E to E, Y is 3 to 2. So that means if we take this AY and we split it up into five equal pieces, three of those pieces are going to be over here and two of those pieces are going to be over there. So three-fifths of the entire thing AY, three-fifths of that is AE. AE is three-fifths of AY. And we have a y right there, so we just take three-fifths of that. Three-fifths of that gives us six times the square root of 29 all over five. Just like that, no help from Harv. Yeah, 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 we'll go on to the next problem. All right, got another rectangle here. We have a rectangle, and it gives us the vertices of this rectangle. We have 0, 0, 0, 3, 8, 3, and 8, 0. And then this line right here, that's the graph of x plus y equals 5. And it's split in this rectangle into two pieces. And we have to find the ratio of the area of this piece to the area of that piece. Well, this is a rectangle, so each of these pieces, they're trapezoids. And we know how to find the area of a trapezoid. All right, here we go. Label the diagram. This height right here, that's 3. Because this right there, that's 0, 3. And then this point out here, well, it's on this line. That line is x plus y equals 5. 
is also on the x-axis, which is where y equals 0. So x has to be 5. This point right there, that's 5, 0. Which means this length right here is 5. Now we go check out up here. All we have to do is figure out what that is. Then we can find the area of this trapezoid because you know, the whole thing here is a rectangle. These are right angles. This is my height of my trapezoid. Now this point right there is on that x plus y equals 5 line. And well, this height is 3, so the y coordinate has to be 3. It means the x coordinate has to be 2. So this length right there, that's just 2. Now we have the two bases of our trapezoid, we can figure out what the median is. And the area is just the height times the median. Now the median, you take this 5, you add on the 2, you get 7, you take half of that. So the median is 7 halves. So our area is 3 times 7 halves, which equals 21 over 2. Now my man Harvey here has always taught me to always look for some slick ways to solve some problems. Now I could go ahead and find some dimensions over here, find the other area, but Here's my slick way. Check this out, Harvey. I know the area of the whole rectangle. This is 3. This whole thing is 8. So the area of the whole rectangle is 3 times 8 is 24. And I just subtract off this piece to get that one. 24 is 48 over 2. Subtract off the 21 over 2. And we have 27 over 2 as the area of this other piece. Isn't that cool, Harvey? Oh, not as fast as you do. Ah, whatever. We have to find the ratio of the area of this to the area of that. We have 21 halves to 27 halves. Now I'm going to simplify that a little bit. Multiply both those parts by 2. 21 to 27. Now we have a common factor of 3. Take out that common factor of 3 in each of these parts. And we have a ratio of 7 to 9. What's that? Oh, still the slow way. This guy. All right, what's the fast way? Turn the crooked line vertical. What's he talking about? Just spin it around the midpoint of the piece in... So what? Uh, I'll go ahead and draw it, Harvey, and we'll see what's going on. You say, take this middle point of this segment right there and just spin this line vertical like that. Oh, Harvey. Oh, man. This guy's something else. Check this out. We Put this vertical line here. Now you look at this little triangle down here that was in this trapezoid over there. It's like we're just cutting this piece out and sliding it over there. So this rectangle right here, this rectangle right here, it has the same area as this small trapezoid right there. It's like we just took this piece, put it right up there. And then this rectangle over there will have the same area as this trapezoid out there. So now we're just trying to find the ratio of the areas of these two rectangles. This one right here, and then this one right out there. But these two rectangles have the same height. So now all we have to do is find the ratios of these lengths down here. And, well, going from here to here is 2. Going from here all the way out to here is 5. And getting out to right here, we're just going halfway from the 2 out to the 5. We're getting out to 3 and a half. That 3 and a half, this distance right here, three and a half which means the rest out here this whole thing was eight the rest of it has to be four and a half this is three and a half this is four and a half put them all together you got eight and the ratio of the area of that rectangle to that rectangle right there is three and a half to four and a half that three and a half that's seven halves that four and a half that's nine halves ratio of seven halves to nine halves hate to admit it is seven to nine Man, this man, Harvey's amazing. Harvey's amazing. This is why he's so good at geometry, because he can see things that other people just can't see.